Hi guys, uh, good evening and welcome back. As today was the budget day, there were lots of lots of announcements happened uh, in our Indian budget. So Nirmala Sitharaman he started announcing budget at 11 a.m. in the morning. So like you know, there are so many highlights that I wanna cover uh, with this budget. So let us quickly uh, go through the uh, uh, documents and the budget which were uh, submitted or which were announced or which were discussed during the parliament today. So this is the PDF file which I have opened. Uh, the key features of the budget 24-25 which was uh, submitted by uh, the Ministry of Finance Budget Division. Okay. So let us quickly go through the highlights. So I cannot like you know go through each and every uh, in detail with that. So I just try to cover it uh, with the uh, latest uh, uh, highlights of the uh, budget. Okay. So like you know basically government uh, is going to focus uh, for major uh, uh, cost like you know budget uh, themes are like you know employment, skilling, MSME and middle class. So these are the four things that they are going to concentrate on that. So there are nine priorities that they are going to uh, taking up. The priorities of Vikasit Bharat. So one is like you know productivity and resilience in agriculture. So in agriculture they are going to uh, bring so many uh, new new changes into the uh, uh, in the agriculture sector say for example one crore farmers across the country will be initiated into the natural farming supported by the certification and branding in the next two years 10,000 need based bio input resource centers to be established so shrimp production and export financing for uh, shrimp farming and processing and export will be facilitated through the NABARD. So digital public infrastructure, DPI for coverage of farmers and their lands in three years. So these are the things that they are going to cover it in the first priority that is agricultural uh, priority, productivity and resilience in agriculture. The second priority which is like you know employment and skilling. So basically like you know to create uh, more and more employment, one month wage to the new returns in the formal sectors in three installments up to 15,000 expected to benefit to uh, like 10,000 youths basically. So if you go through these things now, so it is very very beneficial. So let us uh, quickly go through the facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up a setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and uh, establishing reaches. So loan up to 7.5 lakhs with a guarantee from the government promoted fund expected to help 25,000 students every year. Financial support for the loans up to 10 lakh for a year education in the domestic institution. So direct e-voucher to 1 lakh students every year. So annual interest uh, sub, uh, subvention of 3%. So this is one more uh, thing in the empowerment and uh, skilling. So this is basically like you know employment and skilling. Uh, priority so then comes uh, like you know uh, inclusive human resource and development of social justice so here there are like you know a lot of announcements are there uh, when it comes to the state wise like you know far far and over rich states in the eastern part covering Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal and Odisha and Andhra Pradesh for generation of economic opportunities to attain Viksit Bharat. Uh, Amritsar, Kol uh, Kolkata industrial corridor with the development of an industrial node at Gaya. So it is basically like you know uh, uh, which is regarding to uh, the state wise uh, development which they are concentrating about allocation of more than 3 lakh crore for schemes beneficiary women and girls. So Pradhan Mantri Janajatiya uh, Unnat Gram Abhiyana also is there uh, covering 63,000 villages beneficiary crore, 5 crore tri tribal peoples. So this is basically uh, regarding to the um, uh, this uh, human uh, related thing. Financial support of 15,000 crores will be arranged in financial year 24-25. Completion of uh, uh, Polavaram uh, irrigation project ensuring food security of the nation. So then comes priority uh, four, manufacturing and services. So this is one one more uh, interesting thing. New assessment model for SME MSME credit. So credit guarantee schemes for MSME in the manufacturing sector. So there are lots of points mentioned over here. Uh, 12 industrial parks under the National uh, Industrial Corridor Development Program will be uh, taken care. So rental housing with uh, dormitory type accommodation for the industrial workers in PPP mode with uh, VGF support. Critical min minerals mission for domestic production, recycling and overseas acquisitions. Like, so like that, there are uh, so many things mentioned. So then comes the priority five. So the priority five is the uh, urban development. So urban development is many things are there. Stamp duty is there, street market is there, transit oriented development is there, water management is there. 
So here uh, when it comes to stamp duty encouraging the states to lower uh, stamp duties for properties purchased by the women. So if uh, women are purchasing the properties then the stamp duty is going to be reducing. So then comes uh, pro promote water supply sewage treatment and solid water management projects and the service for 100 large cities through the bankable projects. So then comes housing needs. PM's PM Awas Yojana Urban 2.0 needs of 1 crore urban poor and middle class families will be addressed with an investment of 10 lakh crores so this is what they are going to concentrate in the board so then comes priorities uh, for six energy and security so the here also like you know when it comes to one crore household obtain free electricity up to 300 uh, units every month 1.28 crore registration and 14 lakh applications so far so it is basically the regarding the energy energy sector uh, which is they are going to take the initiative with the private sector in the nuclear energy and pumped storage policy and asu thermal power plants and energy audits so the respectively they are going to uh, start spending on that so then comes very important segment that is uh, for infrastructure infrastructure they are going to spend 3.4 percent of the gdp that is 11 lakh 11 thousand uh, 11 and 1111 so crore for the infrastructure project and 1.5 lakh crore to the states as long term interest free loans to support resource allocation such a good thing phase for four of pmgsy will be launched to provide all weather connectivity to 25000 rural uh, habitations so then comes irrigation and uh, food migration also there are few points mentioned in that so then comes uh, the infrastructure so regarding infrastructure also tourism is there and development of uh, vishnupada temple corridor and mahabodhi temple corridor modeled on Kashi Vishwanatha temple corridor so like that regarding tourism also like you know uh, they have mentioned uh, there are uh, so many things that they have mentioned so that we can go through it so then comes uh, the priority 8 innovation research and development operationalization of uh, Anusandana national research fund for basic research and prototype development private sector driven research and innovation at commercial scale with the financing pool of 1 lakh crore space economy is also mentioned a venture capital fund of thousand crore is to be set up so then comes priority nine which is the last priority so next generation reforms so uh, in the rural and urban land related actions they are going to take the next generation reforms which is like you know unique land parcel identification number or bu other uh, for all the lands so then comes uh, the digitalization of uh, uh, cadastram maps so land record in urban areas will be digitalized with g GIS mapping this is fantastic guys because like you know in urban areas the lands has to be digitalized land records should be digitalized so the survey of map subdivision as per the current ownership linkages to the farmers uh, registries so there are uh, so many things mentioned over here also so you can go through it improvement of the data governance collection processing and management of the data and statistics mm -hmm. new pension scheme a solution that address the relevant issues uh, protect um, protects the common citizens and maintains the fiscal uh, prudence will be formed. So then comes like you know, a few other things which we require that we will look into it. So then comes uh, the tax tax proposals also are there. So they are trying to simplify the uh, tax review of uh, like, you know custom duty change in custom duty uh, taxes uh, like you know full exam to three more uh, cancer medicines from custom duties. So then comes uh, reduce the BCD to 15% on mobile phones and mobile PCBA and charger. So th that's the reason like you know some of the electronic uh, uh, company stocks has uh, like you know went down drastically today. So then comes reduce the custom duty on the gold and silver to 6% and platinum to 6.4%. That is the reason few of the gold related uh, stocks performed very well today. So that we will look into it when we comes to stocks analyzation. Reduce BCD on Sims and fish feed to 5%. So there are uh, so many things mentioned. So when it comes to direct tax, this is what we are uh, like, you know, disappointed about. And this is where uh, like, you know, our disappointment comes in the picture. So this uh, is worrying factor when it comes to direct tax. Short term gains of the physical asset to attract 20% tax rate. So for example, if you have invested somewhere and if you are getting the short term capital gains, so that will be taxed at 20% tax lab. So which was earlier it was 15 percent now the long term capital gains on all the financial and non-financial assets attract to 12.5 percent which was earlier it was 10 percent so financial and non-financial assets both includes it increasing the limit of exemption of capital gains on the financial assets to 1.25 lakhs per year 
earlier the, this exemption was up to 1 lakh now it is uh, uh, increased the limit to 1.25 lakhs that's it so then comes very important abolish the angel one tax for the classes of investors say for example if uh, startups if people few people were investing in the startups right for them no tax for now from now on no tax will be there so it was there earlier so that's the reason few people are thinking to invest in the startups now uh, to boost up the startups so this abolishing the angel tax is being done so that is what uh, it is to be so then comes like you know new resume tax 0 to 3 lakhs no tax 3 to 7 lakhs it will be 5 percent tax and 7 to 10 lakhs it will be 10 percent 10 to 12 lakhs 15 percent 12 to 15 it will be 20 percent and few more than 15 lakh it will be 30 percent tax lapse so the savings up to 17,500 will be happening so then the standard deduction for salaried employees will be increased from 50,000 to 75. So earlier it was 50,000, now they made it as uh, 75,000. Deduction on family pension for pension has increased from 15,000 to 25,000. So that is what uh, like you know all about the budget. So overall if you look at the budget, so more important than this is ex expenditure on major items. So the defense expenditure will be like you know 4 lakh uh, 54,773 crore they are going to spend. Rural development 2,65,808 crores they are going to send. Agriculture and allied activities they are spending on 1,51,851 crores. Home affairs they are also spending 1,50,983 crores. Then comes education 1,25,638 crores. IT and telecom are respectively you can go through it guys. So there are so many things. So that's all uh, guys. Uh, these are the budget highlights. So if you look at budget highlights, they are not even deviated from its uh, interim budget. So it is as expected from the interim budget, they are most uh, mostly aligned with the interim budget, whatever they are uh, expected. So the, the capex spending remains the same, whatever defense, railways, they were in, uh, uh, they planned, right? So that will be uh, continued for now, whatever it was planned. So like that only it will be continued and budget is seems to be a economic oriented budget. So let us see how it is going to perform in the uh, coming days and all. So we will see the development and all. So but for now, uh, like you know, as a uh, stock market investor, uh, the star, like you know, short term capital gains and long term capital gains, they increase. So that is the worry. And that is one thing apart from that, uh, it is the, um, the overall, uh, the budget looks seems to be fine and fantastic. So that's all uh, from my end guys. If you have any concern, please uh, post in the comments uh, i'll address it so thank you guys thank you so very much uh, stock review i'll do it uh, after uh, this like uh, after some time uh, tax review also we'll see you in the next video guys thank you thank you so very much